Hello guys, in this video we'll solve one problem based on Gauss elimination method. It is basically used to solve the system of equation. You can see here three equations are there in which three variables are involved in each equation. Okay, x, y and z. So first step is that right hand side all the constants should be there. Okay, left hand side all the x, y, z terms. Now first step you have to form the augmented matrix. Now A is to be this augmented matrix. It is simple to form. What you have to do? You have to just write the coefficients of equations. Okay. So how to write this? We'll just see. So this becomes first equation. If you take coefficient is two. Y coefficient one, Z coefficient four, is two. So B denotes the constant terms. That is twelve. Next, second equation four, eleven. Minus one and thirty-three. Third equation, eight minus three, plus two, and twenty. You can write column-wise also, okay, like this. So if you observe here, two four eight, two four eight. What is that? Coefficient of x. So this is x coefficient. One eleven minus three. It is y coefficient. Four minus one two. It is z coefficient. And this is the constant term. So this is how you have to write the augmented matrix okay next step always remember you have to convert the augmented matrix not fully only the a matrix a matrix is nothing but this three cross three matrix this you have to convert it into upper triangular matrix now what is upper triangular matrix let us see first that so you can see over here upper triangular matrix is nothing but if you consider three cross three we have this diagonal elements okay one five nine this is the diagonal of the matrix now, I have taken here random elements. From this two, if we, if I want to convert this matrix into upper triangular matrix, I have to change this as zero, this as zero, this as zero. That means what diagonal below which, okay, below the diagonal we have to change all the elements into zero. This is nothing but upper triangular matrix. Below diagonal, all the elements should be zero. So this I have to make zero. This and this four, seven, eight. I have to make. Zero. Here also same thing. I have to make four as zero, eight as zero, and minus three as zero. Okay. So this for this what I have to do? I have to go for row transformation, row operations. Okay. So we'll start with four. So I can apply R two is R two minus two R one. Correct. Because here you can observe. I I should make. Four as zero, right? So two is there. So if I multiply with two, it becomes four. So if I subtract from this four, it becomes zero. Simple. So R two is R two minus two R one. Okay. So I'll do the calculation part. So only the thing is that after applying this transformation, only the second row will change. Okay. R two R two row. And one more thing, you have to change this element also while applying the row transformation transformations operations. You have to change. You have to consider this whole row. Okay. So I'll do the calculation part here. So second row will change. So observe here, R two is R two is R two minus two R one minus two into R one is two. It is equal to four minus four zero. So this element becomes zero. Next to eleven. Next element eleven minus two into R one is one. So it is eleven minus two, which is equal to nine. Okay. Next to minus one. Minus two into R one is four, so this becomes minus one minus eight. It is equal to minus nine. Next, thirty-three minus two into twelve, so this becomes thirty-three minus twenty-four, which is equal to nine. Okay, so I got all the elements zero, nine, minus nine, and nine. Only have to change this part. So see here augmented matrix. Becomes two, one, four. This won't change. Twelve. Second row row will change. It is zero, nine, minus nine, and nine. Next, eight is there. Eight minus three, two, and twenty. This thing won't change. Okay. So we have got after the operation. We have got the values. You can observe here. Okay. These are the values we got. Now next step, I have to make eight as zero. Okay, 
so first thing i made this as zero then next is this as zero then last one this as zero okay so in order to make eight as zero so you can see here i can apply here two fours are eight right two fours are eight then subtract from here so r3 is row three is r3 minus four r one you know four times of two it is eight so i have, I have to subtract from eight so i'll do the calculation part so r3 will change all all this this whole row will change now calculation part here i'll do so taking first element 8 so 8 minus 4 r1 right 4 into r1 is 2 so 8 minus 8 is 0 next minus 3 minus 4 into r1 is 1 it is equal to minus 3 minus 4 which is equal to minus 7 next 2 2 minus 4 into r1 is 4 so 2 minus 8 which is equal to sorry 2 minus 16 right 4 4 is 16 2 minus 16 which is equal to minus 40 next 20 minus 4 into 12 which is equal to 20 minus 48 which is equal to minus 28 okay so we got all the values it is 0 minus 7 minus 14 and minus 28 so i have to just change this matrix so a augmented matrix equal to so this thing becomes uh, 2 1 and 4 and this thing is 12 so so this becomes 0 same as it is minus 9 minus 9 9 the last row it becomes 0 minus 7 minus 14 and minus 28 okay this we have done the calculation also for that now next thing next we have to go for this element okay so one tip you you should remember one thing that when you go for this uh, row uh, when, when you have to make this element as zero don't go for the r1 okay don't go for row one always go with the row two because here one zero is term is there so if you go for the row transformation with r1 this might change so you have to keep this as zero itself so for that purpose you have to go for r2 okay so row 2 and row 3 I have to do some op uh, row 3 I have to do some operations so r3 becomes if I multiply this with 7 and this with 9 okay and I add what it becomes 0 right so 9 into r3 plus 7 into r2 simple 9 into r3 9 into r3 plus why am I doing plus because here one seven minus is there that's why plus okay addition so that it gets uh, subtracted and it becomes zero l l let me show you the calculation part so here see here this term remain okay zero anything multiplied by zero plus zero it is equal to zero itself so this remains as it is okay so that's why I said go for r2 operation with r2 okay next uh, here observe here this one 9 into r3 9 into what is r3 minus 7 plus 7 into 7 into r2 what is r2 9 right so this becomes minus 9 into minus 7 plus 7 into 9 right it, it becomes 0 yeah so minus 63 plus 63 it is 0 itself okay so that's why i said plus you have to do next this element also it gets changed so my 9 into r3 is minus 14 okay r3 is minus 14 plus 7 into r2 r2 is minus 9 so 9 into minus 14 is minus 126 uh, 7 into minus 9 is minus 63 so this becomes minus 189 okay next last this one 28 minus 28 into 9 9 into 28 minus 28 plus 7 into r2 it is 9 right so this becomes minus 28 into 9 is 252 minus plus 63 which is equal to minus 189 okay so same element i got here so i have to write the augmented matrix so this becomes 2 1 4 3 2 1 4 0 9 minus 9 9 this becomes 0 minus oh, sorry 0 then 0 0 yeah 0 then minus 199 
and minus 189 okay so this is the final augmented matrix you can see here below the diagonal element we have all the elements as zero okay now we have to write the equation how to write the equation it's quite simple let me show you the last row will go from the last row here you can see this i said before this is x y and z so 0 x 0 y and minus 189 z minus 189 z equal to what this constant minus 189 so z value becomes 1 right z value becomes 1 so we got the value of z now we have to write get the value of x and y now we have to write the equation of second row so 0 x plus 9 y so 9 y minus 9 z equal to what this constant term which is 9 so i have z value right 1 so 9 y minus 9 into 1 is 9 equal to 9 so 9 y is equal to this i'll shift that side it becomes 9 plus 9 it is 18 so y value becomes 18 by 9 which is equal to 2 so y value also i got now last term is x first row i have to write the uh, equation so 2x plus y plus 4 z is equal to 12 so i have to find x value so y value i know it is 2 plus 4 into 1 z value is 1 equal to 12 so 2x equal to 6 when it goes that side 12 minus 6 so uh, 2x equal to 6 so x value equal to what so x value becomes 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 okay so x value i got is 3 so i'll write all, all the terms x value i got it as 3 y value as 2 and z value as 1 okay so this is the whole thing we have done